Hey guys, today I want to cover my fuel system components. Um, I'm splitting this up into two, two different videos. Uh, in this video, you're going to see all the parts, all the pieces, everything that I use for my fuel system uh, for my LS swap. Uh, the next video will actually cover the install, the cutting the lines, and uh, putting everything together, piecing it together, and then of course the, uh, the finished product. So uh, with that, I want to go over some of the parts I used and the reason I use those things, guys. And uh, I'll kind of show you the list. I'll try to run through it slow. That way you can write it down if you need to and uh, kind of take it from there. So uh, the first thing that I wanted to cover right quick is my fuel sending unit. Uh, the reason that I went with this fuel sending unit is because on the 1980 K5 Blazer, the fuel filler neck and everything comes in from the passenger side. Uh, the way that the filler vent is set up on the, the factory unit, it comes off the same side as the lines. Uh, the lines actually come down the passenger side frame rail and up to the engine. Uh, I got this fuel sending unit out of a G20 uh, Chevrolet van and uh, the lines actually go down the driver side but the fuel vent for the filler neck and everything is still on the passenger side. That's why I wound up using this unit here. It uh, also has the screw on fittings on the ends instead of the, the EFI, I think it is, the, the push connect or whatever. Uh, so it does have the screw on fittings and uh, that's why I went with this one. I believe it's uh, FG17B, but we'll cover all that guys. But that's why I use this fuel sending unit. Uh, did not come with a fuel pump. I actually bought my own and I'll cover that also. So. Uh, with that, I'll give you this list here and show you guys what all I've, I've done here. Um, I'll go through it slow so you guys can take notes, write it down, whatever you need to do. Uh, the red circle is around the number of, of parts that I use. This is only one, uh, one times 31-gallon uh, fuel tank. It's a Dorman brand. I bought it on Amazon. And I believe uh, before shipping it was 11038. Uh, here's the part number for my fuel tank. This is Blazer and Suburban specific. Uh, that's, that's the tank that I decided to go with. Uh, right below it, guys, is the fuel center that I just showed you. It's an FG17B. I got that at AutoZone. I actually had to order it. Uh, took a day or so to come in. $87.63. I only needed one of those. Uh, that came out of a, I believe it was a 1992 G-Series Chevrolet van. Uh, you can Google this here and find it probably on Amazon, same price, maybe a little cheaper. Uh, all my fuel fittings, guys, pay real close attention to this because I'm going to tell you what each one of these are and where they go. Uh, right here, sending unit adapters, these actually come off of these parts here, the, the screw on ends, these are uh, metric ends and trying to take those to a 6AN, uh, the research on it was was pretty rough trying to find out which ones those are, but uh, the ones that I, I bought were the Earls, one of each. Uh, the difference here guys, one is a 9894DBH and one's a DBJ. Okay, you got a 6AN and it goes to the small one is a 14 millimeter by 1.5. The large one is a 16 millimeter by 1.5. Very good information to know here, guys, uh, if you're doing this and you're using that same type of fuel sending unit. Uh, hose ends were Summit brand. They are straight. I got four of those. They're dash 6AN um, to go on the end of the line. About five bucks a piece. Uh, you're gonna have to have at least four if you mock it up just like I did mine. I got two of them guys that were uh, also Summit brand. The difference is these were 45 degree. Uh, these were black, those were black, same. Uh, these were quite a bit more pricey. I probably could have got by with just the straight ones, but uh, I wanted a little bit of extra bend in mind so that I didn't get my lines in, bad, in a bad spot back there. And uh, so I, I went with those. The uh, fuel filter adapters guys, you're gonna need these to screw into the fuel filter. Um, they're Earl's brand. Uh, not much difference here in the, the number. 
from the ones above, but these do have the little O-ring ends on them, which you'll see in the next video that I post when I go through the system and the install. Uh, these are dash 6AN to the 16 millimeter by 1.5. They are straight fittings, uh, $8.30 each. The hose I got, guys, I wound up getting the uh, 6AN stainless steel hose. The first one is 20 foot, the second one is six foot because I didn't quite have enough. The difference in the part numbers here, guys, if you look, 230620, 230606. What that signifies is that's 20 foot and that's six foot. And of course, you see the difference here, $75 and $27 roundabout for that. Uh, my fuel rail adapters, guys, these actually go onto the GM fuel rail on the 5.3 uh, truck intake. Uh, you've got a supply and a return line. I believe the 113 is the supply line and the 123 is the return line. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you'll have to research that. I needed one, one of each of those. They are a Russell brand, and those are the part numbers. That's how much they cost. I got all the hose and all this fittings and stuff, guys, from Summit Racing. Uh, you can get them online, or if you have a local store, you can run by there and grab those. The uh, handmade fuel lines that you'll see in my next video, the hold downs, uh, they are a stainless steel. I made them out of 18 gauge strap uh, with a 5 16 hole poked in them so that I could bolt them to the frame. Uh, I went to a local shop, sheet metal shop guys, and had those made out. And then I, I hand rolled them and made them. 15 bucks uh, was what I, what I wound up giving for those. Uh, the fuel pump guys just needed one of those. I actually did six of these. Sorry, let me go back. I actually did six of these hold downs, and I think I only used five of them. But these are just to tidy it up, get it up close to the frame, and get everything looking good under there. So uh, the next thing was the fuel pump. It's an AC Delco EP381. These will handle the load of the LS motors, so no worries there. 66 bucks for that on Amazon. Uh, that is before shipping. So uh, the last thing, guys, the fuel filter. It's a micro guard from O'Reilly's, $7.99. Guys, if you do your checking on these micro guards, uh, they actually rank better than the Fram filters, and I believe they are right below or right above the Wix filters as far as, uh, you know, in independent research, independent study. So, uh, bought the fuel filter for a 2002 Chevrolet Silverado, and uh, guys, that pretty much covers my parts list, everything that you're going to need in order to do your fuel system if you want to mock it up exactly like I did mine. Uh, check out my next video guys that's actually going to be the one where I put all my fuel stuff together uh, where I piece it together what all I'm doing with it how I cut my lines uh, was in a previous video so if you would check that out uh, with that braided stainless steel line guys there's really no good way to cut it um, I've, I've been getting a few suggestions here and there but it's I've already done all that stuff but I'll, I'll try to share some of that uh, if you look in the description below the video, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this list. That way if you need to copy and paste it or print it out or whatever, uh, try to make it easier on you guys. But I just more or less wanted to kind of cover what all I used and um, the reasons why I use that stuff. Guys, it's, it's going to be a lot better than what I had. I uh, wasn't real happy with what I had. It would have worked, but I don't, I don't know how reliable it would have been in the long run. This here, guys, I think is going to turn out a lot better. So uh, with that, I'm going to cut the video, guys. If you like what you see, subscribe. I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, with, the, with the whole video loss and everything, guys, losing all my videos and all my content, it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to get started back up, but uh, I'm hitting it now, you know, uh, trying to get started and get going again and uh, kind of take it from there. So, guys, I appreciate it. Have a good one.